Hello everyone, I'm Barry J. Walker with Regional Championship Wrestling. Here we got a mad classic, there's for sure. Moondog Mosin. You may know him now as Jack Mosin, but he was a Moondog back then. And he's squaring off against a former WWE wrestler, Matt Stryker. We're here in Reading, Pennsylvania. Well, he asked me what a moon dog is. Well, there's a moon dog right there, and he's bad. He's big, he's bad, and he will kick. Well, let's not go there. Now he's trying to body slam Molson, but he just can't do it. I mean, he's going to pump, pump up now so he can get a chance to body slam Molson. You can see Molson has no cares of who this guy is. Look, he's going for it again. Oh, right there. There you have it. If you know, it doesn't matter to Molson if you came from WWE, WCW, wherever you come from, it doesn't matter. Molson's tough and he'll beat you. Look at this. Down on the face goes Matt Stryker. I want to let you know if you're watching this on YouTube, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you any. Oh, he just walked into a clothesline. It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe to the channel, it's free. Um, but by doing so it helps our channel out and you'll get notifications when new videos come up from regional championship wrestling gems like this one here that would stay in the in the vault and never be seen look at that headbutt now he's got him tied up on the rope so headbutt again this big man's hitting the ropes big time splash and down goes Matt Stryker. Mosin, big man and a powerful man. And still to this day, look at this. And over the top goes Jack Mosin, thanks to Matt Stryker pulling the ropes down. Matt Stryker, a lot of people know he's a teacher in New York. And look at this man, climbs up, jumps over the top rope. He's going out there after Mosin. Couple of shots, I can't see from my vantage point what's going on. Referee's taking that count. We can get a count out. He breaks the count, Matt Stryker did, and he's back out. being distracted over here but I'm watching the action over here from as far as I can see as you can see now Matt Mo uh, Stryker puts Molson back into the ring mm, right in the turnbuckle ladies and gentlemen this is regional championship wrestling league and look at this one two he should be getting he should be mm, you gotta count to five so oh but uh oh uh oh Molson puts him back up there and he just lets him there. What's he gonna do? He's gonna fly into the corner? Oh! Boot into the face. Not good for Molson. Oh, reversal and back into the corner and there's that splash. That's what he wanted and he got it. Big Molson. Not afraid of anybody and here he comes. The train is coming. Oh! And the referee was sandwiched in between the corner post and Molson. A duck of a clothesline by Matt Stryker. He goes for a high cross body, but he got caught by the big man. What's he gonna do with him? Slams him. What is Molson going to do? He's going to the top? Are you kidding me? If he goes to the top, I don't think uh, Matt Stryker is gonna be walking out of here today. I can't see him now. He is going to the top. I see it. Oh, well, goodbye, Matt Stryker. It was nice. No, he's getting out of the way. And wait. Who's that? That's Rebel. What is he doing? He just hit the chair. That's Rebel. He just nailed Molson with a chair. And he puts Matt Stryker on top. He just kicked the ref. Well, there's no ref to make the count. Now Rebel's trying to get the referee up after he kicked him. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Rebel hit him with a chair. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, 
This is not right. Matt Stryker gets the win. From Scranton, Pennsylvania, Mint, Mike Mitchell. From Scranton, Pennsylvania, the Dark Horse, Johnny Boyer. From Milton, Pennsylvania, Demetrius. And Raid breaks up the bay. Why? It was, a, it was a fireman's carry set up there. It was almost like it, he didn't spit him all the way around, but that, that was a shot. But you know, oh, oh no, Moran shoved right into Rand. I don't think Rand realizes. I don't think oh, it's very smart of Mor Moran to uh, to make fun of. Oh, oh, there's a super kick. Oh, low, low bridge behind him. They got the big man. Big man is a little bit, a little bit of a. The two Scrap boys are working together here. Schoolboy. Oh, there's the roll up. There's the cover. Right on top. Two in. Oh, he got him. Out. He got him. Uh, has there. been eliminated. He was double teamed there. Don't believe him, Raid. They're both from Scranton. They probably talked about this beforehand. Oh, Raid hammers him. What is he doing? He's out of this match. He's done. Raid hammers him. Oh no, the oh, beatdown nice mounted. And the beatdown has begun. Moran deserves it. Moran deserves it. Oh look, you think that this guy deserves this? All he did was pin the man like Oh he's god. To. He's got Is he him going up. for a power slam here. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. This will be the end of Oh, oh, oh big oh, splash. Big splash. Oh, oh my god. God. Last week, Ray told us that this is a brand new ring. He's going to need another ring after that big smash. I, I'm surprised that they held the ring right there. Ray storms off now. Now Mitchell trying to be the opportunist, I guess, here. No way. Setting him up. What's good? Is he going to... Oh! oh the over there. there it is! Over. The ultimate champion. Oh, By Mitchell puts away Johnny Moran. You've got me. Did I just see that? Mitchell and three. is pointing out that Vince Bono should be checked for weapons. I agree though. He's from Reddy. He probably has weapons. Oh and there's the check. See, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Goldstein knows it's part of the rules. He's a hometown Reading boy. He knows better than to be carrying weapons. Look at Goldstein. Look at this. This is another just like mind game trying to be played. And it's not going to work against a guy like Vince Bono. Vince Bono trying to take a cheap shot early. Goldstein, shot. He's Goldstein's to get, too smart for that. He's trying to get this match started. I mean, oh, oh, Goldstein just chickening out. He must be a protege at the Lala. That'd be a smart move. Listen, listen, look at this. Look at this matchup. Goldstein goes about 6'4", 260 pounds. Vince Bono's about, I don't know, four foot six. You know, I've been told size doesn't matter. 
That was a lie. Well, we will see tonight. Vince Bono doing one for the little guy tonight. Well, hopefully he can use fingers too to make up for it. So, Bono here, Vince Bonehead is lucky because he was supposed to face Drake Evans and Drake Evans was going to spike Bonehead on that pin oh, and put him out of his misery. Down hard with a shoulder block. Shoulder tackle right there just takes him down. And next to the right back, back to the top and rocks the crowd again. He said he's the man, he's the captain, Mike Goldstein, the real deal. You know, Vince Bono came out here, he's not even, Goldstein's ready to wrestle. Bono's coming out here, kissing babies, running around the ring with them. He's not thinking about wrestling. He's just excited to wrestle in his hometown here. And I think in front of these fans, packed house tonight, he's got the advantage. You might think size, whatever. Bono taking down hard. In, in front of his hometown, yeah, let me tell you. Uh, he's in Reading, Pennsylvania. There's uh, uh, a lot to be said for some of the folks that are here. Uh, I'm, I'm from this town. Yeah, that's I, I can I can say this because I'm a gem of this town. You're a gem of this town. Wow. I'm somebody that's made something. So low standards. Apparently. I'm Everyone's Sam Cavalier. Sure, sure. And Goldstein, he went for it and missed. Oh, slap right across the chest. You know, I, I, I think I saw right there Bono grab some of his chest hair. Oh, you just are... You, I'm a man with a lot of chest yeah, hair, I, and it's not fair to use it to his advantage. It's not... Shook the mouth right now. And there it goes one more time. That was a hard one right across the chest. And there was nothing being grabbed there. It was a solid chop. He was holding his throat. That was a choke. These people know him, they probably grew up with him, the streets are Reading. that's why they're rooting for him. Yeah, you know, Bono's got those anything. fist tape like he's ready to throw some punches. Exactly. Just like this town, always fighting back, always fighting hard. Even when people Gold like Steve's you. Goldstein's taking a front row seat right here. Five, six, thank you, excuse me. Six! Back up, 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 do it! I'm ringing the bell. No, I'm do out. not. Do not touch that. That hand. was that was a, a that was a big leg and a cover. Neck breaker. Oh, oh. Uh, Bono's been out of action for like I don't know, maybe ten years, and after that it might be another ten. Just because he hasn't any televised matches doesn't mean he's been out of action. Hopefully this sends the Playboy back into retirement. Or maybe he can join Hugh Hefner. Look at that cocky cover. Cocky cover. Another kick out. Goldstein oh. just playing with his food. It's He's playing with his food. Another leg drop here. No. Oh, you know what? It's elbow take a lot drop. more than that to take out somebody from this town. Drops the hammer on Vince Bono. It's a matter of time. Lateral press one, two. Oh. Gosh. Every one of these covers is closer to three than the last. What uh, is uh, what, 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 what uh, Goldstein doing? Uh, uh, we might have a problem here. Uh, Goldstein going to the top. Oh, oh, the, oh, oh no. The crowd, and now the real deal is going to be a little... Oh, no. No, no, he should be able to come down from there. No. And he comes down the hard way. And you know what? That's reminiscent of Ric Flair right there in front of the legend himself. Right over here to our right, the absolute legend, the manager of the Four Horsemen, James J. Dillon. Oh, 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 Mike, Mike needs to move. Mike's grabbing the title belt. Wait, Wait what, what is James J. Dillon doing? What is James J. James J. Dillon involving himself right. in a match he shouldn't be in? He's doing what's right for the fans. He's doing what's right for us. Oh, Bono kicks him out like ah, and hits him with a stunner. Shoots the heavens are here, puts him over. Two. Oh, Wait, we got a champion. We've got a new champion.
it's the red and gold. Yeah, we got a new champion. This James J. Dillon butted into his business. when it comes to wrestling skills. Nice arm drag by Carino. Nobody said the guy couldn't wrestle. It's just his, his choice of managers, which is, I think it's held him back. This young man could go to the top of the MEWF, but he chooses to align himself with Profit. He's well on his way there. And he can thank Royce Profit for helping him there. The only thing he can thank Profit for is for stealing his money. There's a tank of a man. What a piece of work this is. She'll get me one way, she'll get me the other way. <laughs> you heard it from the rebel, one half of Dark Side. Hey, sweetheart, when are you going to get your hair replaced? <laughs> yeah, do we have to put up with this? <laughs> Where is security at? <laughs> get this gentleman, and I use that term loosely, out of here. He's great. Of the, the new Adam Flash, if you will. What's different? They're both skinny and they're both losers. <laughs> but he got rid of 220 pounds of excess baggage named Quinn Nash, and that's the difference. No, you got it all wrong. Quinn Nash got rid of him. You remember, you were there that night. Well, regardless of how it happened, the fact remains that now Adam Flash is on his own, where he's belonged the whole time. He didn't need somebody to have to hold up in tag team. The ring to the apron, he to the second, and now to the top rope. And I see, here's Profit across the ring. Adam Flash sees him, jumps off. Oh, and he drops it right across the shoulders. The referee is distracted. He could have counted to 10 by now. Good on, but he didn't. 15, even 20. What happened was Joe DiCarlo, he's been training the golf. And I think right, here we go. just giving him a few tips. Oh, just a count of two after he had him down for 20. That's what I hear. He was training the golf and he wanted a couple tips. So I had the chance to and, grab And this was the first. Now, there we see the old Adam Flash, as it were. Scoops him up, slams Kareem, just dumps him. Now, we've seen this before. In position for the moonsault. Adam Flash, high risk maneuver. Oh, and he took the pins right down from under him. <laughs> Once again, the outside interference by Prophet and his men took the leg right out from under Adam Flash. Carino's now going to struggle to get some kind of advantage. That's all she wrote now, Ron. Backs him into the ropes and shoots him off. Misses with the fist. Nice clothesline by Adam Flash. Still a little bit of reserve left for Adam Flash. I think he's got him sufficiently softened up. He may try to end it right here. We've seen it before. From behind, oh, standing switch, nicely applied. And now full Nelson. Oh, we know a suplex, forget it. Two and three. Down it, I told you, Ron Young. I should go to a racetrack more often. An impressive win. A come from behind win for Steve Carino. The Hamburg Strand movie theater and video store. Well, this is Dirty Deeds, Darren Wise, along with the Drifters, telling you that's the place that you want to be, baby. We don't care if you watch it there. We don't care if you take it home. But 234 State Street is where you better be, baby. Tell them the number, Nomad. 562-8333. You heard it. Hello, everyone. This is Billy J. Walker. And you are watching Regional Championship Wrestling, and we're here at the Hamburg Fieldhouse in Hamburg, Pennsylvania, as we're watching a match between the Flamingo Kid Pinky and Sweet Georgie Olav. And as you can see, he just took him out of the corner the very hard way. The referee in this one is the legendary Dave Curley. That's right, here at the Hamburg Fieldhouse.
the Flamingo Kid Pinky, and Georgie Love. And ooh, there goes that uppercut that Pinky likes to do a lot. Georgie's in a lot of trouble. And look at this, drops an elbow. I mean, what am I talking about? A knee. <laughs> it's early. Two count only. The Flamingo Kid going for the cover, which is amazing. He usually plays around too much before he makes the cover. He sends Georgie in, but Georgie makes a reversal and bang, right into the corner. A kick into the gut, and now Georgie's going for the suplex. Upsy daisy and down goes the pinkster. Georgie Love, another veteran in the business. He's been in the ring longer than the Flamingo Kid has been. Look at this backdrop. Right out of the corner. He's going for the cover right now. But only a two count for the Georgia. And no, he's got him now. But as we go, it's Regional Championship Wrestling's Facebook channel. Check us out on there, the Facebook. And that's Regional Championship Wrestling. Check us out there to get some information. When are we coming to your town? The Facebook page has the answers. Sweet Georgie getting a two count just a little bit ago. As he sends Pinky into the ring ropes. Oh! Oh, I think the knee just went down on Georgie and Pinky's outside the ring. He tried for a clothesline. Pinky ducked it and then Georgie fell. He might have hurt his knee and he's holding it too. While we're waiting for this action, don't forget to check us out on the YouTube channel and check out the videos. If you're seeing this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. By doing that, you're gonna get more information on upcoming videos from Regional Championship Wrestling. And again, that's RCW Promotions. Oh, Georgie Dole to the outside to get Pinky. And now the referee is putting on that count. Both guys are getting counted out. Right here at the legendary Hamburg Fieldhouse. I can't see the action right now. They're out there somewhere. They're probably down. I don't know what's going on. This should have been a 10 count by now. As Pinky just a bit ago just pounded George's head into that. That's the hardest part of the ring is that apron. Pinky's hurting and so is Georgie. He, Georgie may have hurt his knee. He, you can see he's slowly getting into the ring at this point. Oh, he just punched him right in the face. Straight up. Referee needs to stop that. Dave Curry asking Georgie if he's done. Of course he's not. He's not going to give up no matter what. What's this? Boom, ring the bell. That's where you get cauliflower ears, kids. That's where you get it. And Pinky, instead of going for the cover, is messing with the fan. Now he picks Georgie up, sends him to the ropes. A reversal by Georgie, but DDT. Pinky saw that coming and made a DDT instead. These two guys have been battling for quite some time in different companies. They don't like each other. And look at Pinky dropping a knee right into the chest. He's going to do it again. Oh, no, he's going up. He may do the flipping leg drop. This is what he calls it. Look at this. Boom. Flipping leg drop. One, two, three. And that's it. It's over. The Flamingo Kid Pinky gets the win. I'm Barry J. Walker with Regional Championship Wrestling. We'll see you at the matches. The legend, there he is. No, get so out of here. Where, where, where's where's Molson? Now Blue and Gold gets their gets their uh, rematch here with Ula La, and I'm guessing Molson is going to be making a separate entrance. You see me running with the. What's the heel? Oh, no, I'm not going to
Holy Spirit. Probably shouldn't have any. What a man Lock Bomb is to come in on short notice for Ooh La La. Kick out Ooh La La. There's one. There's two, and Ooh La La was going to kick out. He didn't need to do that. Oh, is this helping the referee up again? Yeah. Well, well what he did was... Oh, he, oh my God, the referee now. Take a damn lock on. All hell is broken loose. It's a Johnny Brook. Now, this is a no DQ match, so that's, that, that's a legal blow to the referee, so to speak. Wait a second. He just took out a referee. I don't care if it's no disqualification. That is a blatant disregard for authority. <laughs> Referee Marshall, back up. <laughs> what? That is a... Ladies and gentlemen, you are winners of the match. As a result of the disqualification, Team Blue and Gold! ECW titles should not change hands due to the disqualification. Therefore, Team RCW Ultimate Tag Team Champions, Lord Rockbomb, Short two hour trip from Scranton. Weighs in at two hundred and eighty pounds. I don't care what Carolina is. From Wilson, Pennsylvania, Demetrius Rage. Rage three bills all day. He's 300 pounds. He, he might have been three bills last time. I think he's been on a. Uh, I'm surprised you actually rang a bell for an RCW match. I gotta be honest with you. After what I just went I still wanna see the action. I thought you respected this business. I thought you respected this organization. And I respect the business, but I just, bro, it's about money. You know, I never wanted to look at you before, but now I can't look at you. Oh, hard break. And Moran taking it to Raid now. Oh, code breaker right up against the ropes. And, and Ray just Ray gets kicked out to the ring Take here. Him right outside, to the, outside the ring. And Moran's going after him. He's not going to let him rest. Out amongst the RCW fans. What do we got here? Oh, right hard up against the post. Moran taking it right to him. Oh, we got another post coming up. Oh, the oh. ring just moved. The left shoulder of Raid. The ring just moved. You know, last month we saw a girl oppressed by Raid. I don't know that we'll see that this time with all, what we're seeing here. Yeah, I, I the, think Moran's trying to really beat up beat up those arms where he draws a lot of his strength from. Yeah. Oh, Moran goes it. Raid picks him up. Oh, spine buster right in the middle of the ring. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Raid John. Welcome John with his fans. I love Ray. it. That that guy in the front row, Raid would flatten that guy in about three seconds. Oh, now more dirty tactics by Raid here. Just rip it up against the ropes. Moran's just trying to fight. Ray, welcome back. Yeah, I mean, 
I couldn't get a hold of the guy from the UW. I talked to my wife, let, let, put in a message for it, and we're going to find out. As soon as he calls me, we're going to know what's going on with this and whole thing. And he'll tell you straight up. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't trust you. Yeah, I don't anymore either. I thought I did, but after what I just witnessed, I have no idea who you even are. Oh, Moran thrown halfway across Ray the bridge. Ray just Look throwing out. Moran around, and he, he's... Johnny Moran's 240, 250-pound man. Now, you guys talked about what happened at the last show with these two. These guys have a history. Yeah, yeah, I was saying, Ray, Ray got screwed. Blake Moran and Mint Mike Mitchell, the Scranton boys, uh, looked to seem like they wanted to work a little bit together against Big Demetrius. Oh, Moran fighting back now. Ray oh, and a hard elbow across the back of the head, unbelievable. I'll tell you this much. There's a lot of weight behind it, Eric. Demetrius Raid. But I think that Johnny Moran will be able to pick him up and toss him around. Mm, uh, mm, but mm. Mor Moran's a big guy too. <laughs> yeah, that's and true. He's built, oh, we'll and he's somebody you won't get in the UW if that's even true. We'll see what happens here. Ray got him up on the fireman's carry. Oh, oh, drop oh, in the center oh, of the ring. Oh, could man. that be it? We've seen that take down a lot of major stars. One, two, and oh, and, ooh. ooh, he hooked the leg. Too, I, I thought. He, I think again, a slow count from referee Lance Marshall. Here you go with your slow and fast count again. You have a problem with I, RCW? I, I, why don't you do something about it? Yeah, why don't you call your beneficiary or whatever you say you have that I don't believe? Exactly. I got I got the board, I got the owners, all their money behind me. All right, I'm going to throw in another kick out. I'll find too. out for sure. Hopefully I'll find out by the end of the night. You know, what I saw was a cheap piece, turn it out, piece of paper off of Microsoft Word in the middle of the ring. I think you're all talk, all bluster, you got nothing behind you. I'm all talk, all bluster. Well, like, I could go in the pocket and bring out $100 bills right now to show you the, the money that I'm being paid. I'm a, well, I talked to my lawyer, Antonio, and when he gets a hold of it, he's blowing up the paperwork right now because if this is some kind of scam, you're in a lot of trouble, boy. And that knee right in the small of the back. Mm. Back to the action. Miranda died. Fight back. Oh. oh. And Ray takes him straight uh, down to the canvas. That, not, that's more than a lot. I'm not worried because, you know what? I got the first signee to the UW brand that I was put out there to get. I, I've been told to get men, and, and I've got Jack. And who Hershey told you to do that? Uh, the owner and the board. The, mm. the, the board of UW oh, signed off, board. and the, the money comes right from the man, mm. the owner. We'll see. You know, Look it at this. To me, I don't hear any names here. Just owner and board. These are just general. Yep. Oh, no down. Here we go. Our You're on a need to know basis, buddy, huh? and you don't need to know. Moran coming back from this. It looks like it's time for Moran to do what he got to do. off the other side. Oh! Knee right, knee right to the gut. Timely knee by Demetrius oh, Reed. Oh, man, and Reed just continues to take this it down. This is crazy. That's a big man, and when he hits, he sure hits you to kill. No speed, no finesse, just all power. Oh, inverted atomic drop, and now Ray oh, hey, takes him down. Oh my God! Flatten. 280 right to the chest. Two and oh my God! I'm, I'm shocked Moran got out there. I thought that was it. It's the heart of these people from Scranton. Hit him with that lariat. I'm That's telling you. Over. You, you, you could use a little lesson on heart, my friend, after what we just witnessed earlier. I'm telling you what, Johnny Moran has got a lot more experience than Demetrius Raid, and he's been beat down before, but he always gets back up. We're seeing him up now. Oh, oh he's got him over his shoulder. Oh my oh, lord, I don't know. We about to see, what are we about to witness here? Running power slam. Running power slam. Oh. Center of the ring. There's the cover one. Two and oh, oh, another kick out. How, how did Moran kick out of that? I, wow. I thought Demetrius Raid had him there. Wow. That, oh. that, that move has taken down many, many main eventers over the years. That just goes to show you Moran's not done and he's here to win. He's got the heart, I'm telling you, the heart. Now Raid jawing at the official when he could be taking down his man. Right into the corner. Oh, oh the stinger splash right into the Those corner. ribs have got to be hurting right now. That, that's an avalanche. Oh. You're going to call an avalanche. Yeah. Huh? All right. Off the other side. And then here comes the... Oh, oh. He gets out of the way. He missed the out. speed of Moran. Right. Demetrius did go to the well there one too this many times. This is the line. Back up off the other side. And now Moran. Oh. oh like shoulder block. Now he's fired up. Get the crowd behind him. Another the block Five. takes down Raider. Moran's on a roll now. Ray needs to get out of the ring. High knee. Oh. And now Ray dazed in the corner. Oh! oh! High knee underneath the chin. I think Ray's seen scars. Oh. Flatliner. That's it. And it could be it. There's the cover. Uh -oh. Two and. No. 
His foot is on the ropes. That's a smart man. Knew where he was in the ring. Mm -hmm. What? He knew where he was lucky, in the ring. Lucky ring positioning. Not, but it's not, not luck. That's, he knows. Listen, not only not only is he a big and strong man, he's smart, and he knew where he was in the ring. Oh, the man's got the knee exposed. He's already hit him with multiple knees. Here he comes in. He misses oh, he the high knee. Ray, Ray, oh, oh, hard oh, oh, he hit his shoulder again. There it is. DDT. It could be over right this here. This could be it. Here's the cover. Hooks the leg. Two in. Three. And that's it. That's it. And the red is the winner. That's it. Another one. Johnny. Ray, 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 Johnny Moran got him back for what he did to him at the last show, that's for sure. Amazing! This is a great match. Yeah, great match right? Just a quick comeback, you can fight back the whole time. Great at least three comebacks. That's right. for sure. Yep. You're speechless. You're speechless. Yeah, you'll see how speechless in a second. Hello everyone, this is Barry J. Walker in Regional Championship Wrestling. We're back here in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. And this has been Carnage. We're coming in late in this one. The Pinky, the Flamingo Kid, is teaming up with Sweet Georgie Love against Dirty Deeds Darren Wise. And on the floor over there, you can see the postman, James Kaiser. This match is still going on. Dirty Deeds was destroyed into a table. While Georgie took care of the postman, and the referee Dave Curley is trying to call this matchup. Again, into the table. Due to difficult technical difficulties with the rest of the video, we're only showing it from this point on. But look at this. One, two, three. Darren gets the win. Darren has just been the Flamingo Kid Pinky, who's the RCW champion. They may be the winners, but they don't look like the winners. Dirty Deeds. Oh my word. This was a massive tag team match. We didn't get to see it all, but... Oh, the champ wants to say something. Uh-oh, what's this about? The member of the Alliance. Oh! Georgie tried to throw a leg drop off the top. Darren moved out of the way. Pinky gets back in the ring. And he just nails him with the chair. Enough is enough. He signed the contract against Ranger 7 tonight. I guess that match is probably the surprise. But we don't even know that for a fact. We do know that Ranger 7 won a match earlier in the night. And he was going to get a welterweight title match for the next show. Where is Pinky going? And what is he looking for? And we need some help out here for both George, for Darren Wise, and the postman, James Kaiser. Look at the trash all over the place. This tag team match is over. Pinky didn't win. And now he's he's got some kind of paper. I don't know what's going on. What is this contract? What? He's got to defend the title. Now that was supposed to be for the next show. Oh, 
Ranger 7? What does Ranger 7 have anything to do with this? Wait a minute. Here comes Ranger 7. We talked about earlier how his attitude has changed. It's like, like he's not even himself anymore. He bows. I can't believe this. I cannot believe Ranger 7 is working with Pinky. He drops a leg right on Darren. He's got a piece of a, a, a sign. A, oh my word, a 25 mile an hour sign that Dave Curley has taken away. And we're on the way. We're getting a Walter Wade title match right now. Look at this. I told you there's something different about the Ranger 7. He's not the same. And maybe it's because of Pinky. What a maneuver. A senton off the top. Oh my word. I can't believe this is happening. Dave Curley's trying to get Georgie out of the out of the apron while Ranger 7 is doing a number on Dirty Deeds Darren Wise. And the Flamingo Kid Pinky's out there squawking. And I don't even know where James Kaiser, he was back in the back hurting. And now Ranger 7 is going to the top. Moonsault coming up. And Darren gets it. But there's no ref. There's no ref in the ring. This is madness. The World Waterway Champion. Who has defended his title on every show. And now he's back in business. But there's no ref. That's a three, four, five count already. Where's the ref? Where did Dave Curley go? This is crazy. I'm not understanding it at all. Wait. Pinky's got a trash can. Darren's getting... Oh, my goodness. He bent that trash can. And now what's he going to do? A frog splash. Referee Darren Curley needs... No, wait a second. I can't believe it. We've got a new welterweight champion. That's it. Ranger 7 has become the welterweight champion. I can't believe this is happening. This is ridiculous. And then he look at this, disgusting, puts his legs, his foot on Darren as he holds the title up. We've got a new welterweight champion. It was just a month before this, Darren defended his title in a steel cage against the Bodacious Pretty Boy. And now he loses it to his student, Bodacious Pretty Boy student, Ranger 7. Ridiculous. Wait a second. What's... It's the Bodacious Pretty Boy! It's not Ranger 7! I knew there was a reason he was acting strange. The Alliance has done it again. They pulled the wool over the eyes of the fans and Dirty Deeds, Darren Wise. We've got a new welterweight champion and it's Bodacious Pretty Boy? Just last month he did the new in the cage. Let's hear what he's got to say. I can't believe the bodacious pretty boy plays mind games and now he wants a piece of Darren's girl. He already took his title. Unbelievable. The bodacious alliance will do anything.
I can't believe he wants people to show him respect. Are you crazy? This is ridiculous. There he is talking about his team, the Bodacious Alliance. This is the first time he's bringing the Alliance to Red Lion, Pennsylvania. And we already knew that this was going to happen with Dr. Wildside. And Kid Extreme is probably there too. This is the Bodacious Alliance. Unbelievable. Oh my word, look at the trash all over the place. There he is, Dr. Johnny Wildside, the Flamingo Kid Pinky, the Potatious Pretty Boy, and Kid Extreme. And let's not forget Nurse Vanessa Fieldwood. What a disrespectful moment here in the town of Red Lion that these Alliance members have disrespected everything in Reading, in Temple, now here in Red Lion. Now they're talking about the postman, James Kaiser, who was taken out early on in this. And here he comes, though. He's back. Oh, he hits Pinky with the chair. He hits Pinky with a chair. He now has something to prove. This is ridiculous. The Bodacious Alliance has taken this, uh, this to the new level here in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. And now we got a new World to Weight Champion, which we're never going to hear the ending of that. As the Bodacious Pretty Boy, disguised as Ranger 7, has taken the World to Weight Championship. And him and the Alliance are showing Red Lion that no matter what Darren does, they got an answer for it. And it looks like they do, because they're walking away with the gold. They should be ashamed of themselves. First, the contract debacle. He had to defend his title after getting beaten up by Ranger 7, but it wasn't Ranger 7. It was the Bodacious Pretty Boy in disguise. Ridiculous. These guys, this, they need to get home. Whatever. We're done with this. He wants respect. He's not going to get that from the people here at Red Lions, Pennsylvania. And here comes the postman. He's going after Pretty Boy. And here comes Dr. Wildside. And he... Oh, man. Look at this. He's already been beaten down earlier in the night. And look at the power bomb. Oh! And now, Pretty Boy, with a moonsault off the second rope. What a disgusting display by the Bodacious Alliance. Unbelievable. Find out more information on Facebook.com forward slash Regional Championship Wrestling. Like us on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel. Ah, I don't want to hear no more. YouTube. Dot com forward slash RCW promotions. Check us out on there. Subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up on any video you see. This is Regional Championship Wrestling since 1996 in two different states, and we're still going strong. Look at this. Adam Flash comes to the ring. There you have it. They're finding the alliance now. RC better not do that. He better stay out. PWO and Dave Curley, the referees, they're letting them know it's going to be fine. Is that going to stop them? They've got money. Look at this. Honestly, the carnage has been left in the ring. There's Adam Flash in the ring.
unbelievable. Sweet Daddy J Love is in the ring as well, helping Darren and Postman. This is crazy. I can hear Flex yelling in the background somewhere. Flex Wheeler. Darren is up there clapping for Darren. He took a beating. But there you see the bodacious alliance heading back to the locker room. Unbelievable. New welterweight champion, bodacious playboy. And we'll see you at the matches. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel at Regional Championship Wrestling or email us at rcwpromotions at gmail.com and we'll see you at the matches.